song I really like. It says, Do not let me go. The same way I came. That it touched me with your hand. Transform me with your hands. Do not let me go. The same way I came. Touch me with your hands. Oh, Lord, do not let me go. The same way I came. Daddy, me to room I Me to room I Do not let me go. Touch me with your hands, oh, oh, every caracay. Can you roll to a willa? Papa meturu makagi. Touch my life with your hands, no, 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 do not let me go. The same way I came. Touch us with your hands. Renew us with your hands, Lord. Speak to me with your hands, Lord. Change my story with your hands, Lord. Meturu makagie. Meturu makagie. Daddy, meturu makagie. Touch me with your hands. Touch my life with your hands. Touch my family with your hands, oh God. Do not let me go. The same way I came, oh Lord. Touch me one more time, God. Me to run my cloggy. Daddy, do not let me go. Daddy, I don't want to go. I don't want to leave you, Jesus. I don't want to leave. It's my prayer that the Lord will send down his fire upon us. That that very thing that we are lacking will be given unto us. And I tell you, I'm not, I'm not asking for material things. It's okay to pray for material things. But there is something that we lack. It's the revival. It's the revival that the apostles of old had. And I will not rest until Jesus revives me. I will not rest, beloved. I will not rest until Jesus revives me. I will not rest until I am revived like the days of old. The apostles of the end time when they spoke, the words that came out of them was like fire. And I will not rest. Until I receive from God that which he has for me. And 
whatever the Lord has for me, I want it now, beloved. Now. Whatever he has promised to give to us, which is the Holy Spirit, I need it now. There's a song that's singing in my heart, but I don't know if I know how to play it on the keyboard. It says, I need it. Oh, I need it. Every hour, every hour I need it. Oh, bless me now, my soul. Hey, oh, I come, I come to thee. It says I need thee. Oh, I need thee. I need thee every, every hour. I need thee. Oh, bless. Bless me now, my soul. Hey, oh, I come, I come to there, there are different type of prayers. Some people, when they go to God in, to pray, they don't know how to how to pray. When you go to God in prayer, the Lord is expecting a heart that is full of desperation. How desperate do you need Jesus? How desperate do you want to see a sinner turn to God? How desperate do you want to see the church you have left because they do not know the truth? You have left the church. How desperate do you want to see the pastor come to the light? How desperate do you want to see young men come out from the club, come out from the streets and go and serve God? How desperate do you want to see yourself walking with Jesus? Then you need to set your prayers right. You need to set your prayers right. Enough of the babbling, you bab a lot of, of words. Your, does your heart really want what you ask for? Many of us pray with words, but our heart is somewhere else. Many of us have so much words, but our heart is no longing for Jesus. Many of us, we pray, Jesus, I love you, but your heart, you, you are troubled about what you will eat, what you will wear. Many of us, we are praying, we are talking to God every time, but our heart is in our husband and our wives and our children. Where did you place your heart? In whose hand did you give your heart to? Are you being purged by God? Is your heart pure? Within your heart, are you pure and holy? Are you ready for the coming of Jesus? Beloved, the message remained the same. Jesus Christ is coming back. Jesus Christ is coming for the church. He's coming for a prepared people. The people whose robes are white and pure as snow. The Lord can see those who are in preparation for his return. The Lord can see those who will face this, the great tribulation that's coming upon the world. There is coming terror in this our generation. 
we are going to see we are going to see destruction that has not happened before there is coming a war in this our generation many of you will turn back and will bow down to the antichrist many of you by the time you don't have food on your table you will bow down to the antichrist by the time the great tribulation comes and your child is in need of food and your wife is calling your name you will bow down to the antichrist we are living this we are living in this world like we don't know what is ahead of us there is danger coming danger is coming upon humanity your faith and my faith will be tested all the preaching you have preached outside all the evangelism you have done all the jesus you have called it will be tested when the antichrist will make war against the saints i tell you you will be tested by the time they tell you without a mark you cannot buy and sell your faith will be tested by the time they tell you where is the mark on your forehead and on your right hand and you cannot show the mark your faith will be tested by the time they tell you we need to insert something inside of you there's something that they are going to insert inside of people to be able to live life again and we the children of god we are not warning people of the danger that's ahead of humanity we are shut our mouths down we are shut our mouths up and people are dying and going to hell there is coming danger ahead of humanity We human beings will, will be tested. The Antichrist is ready. He's ahead. He's preparing. I tell you, demons know true children of God. And any child of God, you have said within yourself, I am a child of God. And you are working with God. Satan is after you. We don't know. But I tell you, the spirit of the, the Antichrist is somewhere preparing his way to come and show up here. The Antichrist is here already, but he has not he has not showed up himself. Because it's not yet his time. When it is his time, he's coming for you and I who proclaim to be children of God. He's not coming for the people who are going to who are church goers because they are, they are going to bow down to the antichrist. I'm telling you, there is something coming. There is something coming that is worse than COVID-19. There is something coming that is worse than COVID. In COVID time, many people suffered. They could not feed. In the time of COVID, people were, people were homeless. Many people lost their jobs. Many people ran. They ran. They could not, they, they, they were looking for help everywhere. Something worse than COVID is about to hit us so hard. And if you are standing on only one leg, you will fall. If you are standing on only one feet, you will fall. Prepare very well for the danger that's ahead of us. It is not far from now. There are going to be killings. People will die like, like, they will die like ants. Human beings will die. They will face great terror that's about to hit this world. 
There's a war coming. Beloved, I did not plan to speak like this. But whatever the Lord wants to tell us, please open your ears and listen to me. There is a war coming. There is a war coming. How many of us are going to hold the hand of God so strong? Why this thing hit us? How many of us is, are going to hold the Lord, what, the Lord so strong if death comes to us? There's a war coming. There's a war coming. In no time from us, it will take us on our way. It will take us on our way and a lot of people will die. If you are not strong in the Lord now, if you are still going to church every Sunday and yet you don't have Jesus, you don't have a strong relationship with Jesus, you are going to bow to the Antichrist. Some of you, you would say Jesus Christ is not real. You would deny Christ because you, you have lost your family members. Many of you would deny that Jesus is God and you are going to follow the one word religion that is coming upon this world. You are going to follow the one word religion and the one word government that is coming upon this world. They are planning to destroy God's children. They are planning destruction upon us. The government, they are agents. I don't know if they are going to block this video, but I tell you. These are agents. And they are working hand in hand with the Antichrist. To make us believe that Jesus Christ is no longer God. To make us believe that we and the Muslims can be one. To make us believe that we and the Buddhists, we can be one. But the Lord is saying, who will stand firm for me? Who will stand firm for Jesus? By the time they begin to cut off the Bible and they say that you and a Muslim can serve the same God, you are all serving the same God, who is going to stand firm for Jesus in the time of the test of our faith? We will know who truly is God, who is for God. The years that are coming, in the, in the coming, it's, it's just no time from now. The years that are approaching us, we will know who truly. All of us are covering our head. All of us are shouting Jesus, Jesus. But we would know who is truly for God. The Lord is telling me, I should tell you that you should become a saint now. He says, I should tell my children that they should run, wash their robes in, their, in my blood. That's the only way they can be mine and I will protect them. If you are not for God, you will not be protected. If you are not for God, you will not be protected. I don't know what sort of lies that they have lied to you. I don't know what sort of lies that they have lied to you. I don't know. I don't know what they have told you. That very soon you will be raptured. Or the rapture will take place and you will be gone. And then nothing. That's right here. We can just all disappear. It's not just like that. We will not just sit down and one day we disappear. We are going to go through test. He, he says, he says, on the, the, if you check the book of Revelation, it says that until you, you, he will cause those who have not taken the mark 
to, to be killed. To be killed. That's to an extent that you must receive that mark or you die. It's coming. The Antichrist is coming to proclaim himself to be God. He's coming to say that I am God, bow to me. And you don't know when your church will sign, will sign agreements with the church of Satan and with the other Catholics and the other religions. They're going to sign and you'll still be attending that church without you, you knowing. You are following them. That is why I'm begging you. I beg you in the name of Jesus. Get a right standing with God now. Get a right standing with God now. And open your Bibles and begin to read it. So that you will know when the time comes. There's a world war. A world war coming. A world war. World War Three is coming. A world war is coming. It is it is fast approaching. No matter what will hit us, let us be ready. Get ready to lose your job because of Jesus. Get ready to lose that money in your bank accounts because of Jesus. The money in your bank accounts, it should not take the first place in your heart because there's coming a time you will not be able to use that money. There's coming a time. There's coming a time. The Lord wants me to tell you that you should hold in faith and stop being a church goer and serve God in holiness and in righteousness. Serve Him well and repent. Repent of your sins because if you are still in sin, he is not, His eyes will not watch over you during the times that are coming because you don't belong to Him. It will only take God to protect us. It will only take His grace for us to escape. And many of you are going to say bye to your families. Bye because they are not with you. Many of you, you are going to be separated from your families. Because they are going to follow the world. They are going to be advising you some certain advice that, oh, we are all one, one love. We are one. This world wants to be one. And the Lord Jesus Christ, we cannot be one with the world. You cannot be brothers and sisters with those who are still gay and homosexuals. We are not one. If you are homosexual, I tell you, we are not one. If you are a man still sleeping with a man, I tell you, we are not one. You can follow other religions that tell you that we accept you. We don't accept. In the kingdom of God, there are no homosexuals. In God's kingdom, there are no gays and homosexuals and lesbians in God's kingdom. It is holiness. It is holiness. Holiness. Nothing but holiness. Nothing but holiness. Nothing but holiness. Therefore, I cannot call a Muslim my brother. As long as you say you want to follow Muhammad, you are not my brother. And we are not going to the same place. 
We are on different journeys. As long as you want to worship an elephant or a dog, and you're a Buddhist and you do all manner of chalk on your face, and you decorate yourself with all manner of things, we are no one. We are no one, we are different. We are on different separate journeys. As long as you, you still you stay under a church that is telling you that you can continue in your sin and, 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 and listen to the prosperity message that Jesus loves you and Jesus loves you and you don't believe in holiness, we are not one, we are separate. It's not only just Christians, all Christians are not one. Even in the Christians, so-called Christians, we are not one, we are not one. There's a Christian that is walking in the narrow way and there's a Christian that's walking in the broad way. We cannot be one. We cannot be one. Anyone still in, in a second, you are, in, you are married to your second husband. You said it's your second husband. And you're comfortably saying that Jesus Christ is my God. I tell you, we are not one. You have another Jesus. You have another Jesus. There's another Jesus that you're serving. If you have married first time, and the man you have married is still alive, and you are in your second marriage, we are not one. We are on separate ways. The God you serve is not the God of the Bible. It's not the God who has told us that we should walk in His ways and be saved. Go and look for your God. Look for your God. A God that tells you you can still dress naked as a woman, you still show your breast, you still show your part of your body, and you go to church on a Sunday, and you wave your hands to Jesus, and you're in the choir. I tell you, you don't serve the living God. A God that tells you that you can wear red hair, yellow hair, and paint your lips, and fix your nails as a woman, and wear short, and then listen to what the music Beyonce and whatsoever, and, and, and that God that tells you that you can do those things is not the God of the Bible. We are all going on two separate journeys. And if you choose to follow that way, if you choose to follow the broad way, I tell you bye bye. But if you will hearken on to the voice of God today, and that's telling you, come to the narrow way. Come to the narrow way. Come and be one with Jesus. Let go of these things of this world. Let go of sin. Let go of second marriage. Go and meet your first husband. Go and meet your first husband. He is the one that is ordained from heaven. That has been that has been agreed with heaven that this man is your own. As long as he has married you legally and he's still alive, he's your husband. Sisters, join me and live a whole a holy life. Join me and live a life of modesty, a life that pleases God. Join me and live a life that you don't drink alcohol and smoke and, and party and still go to church. Join me in this journey. As children of God, we don't live anyhow. We read our Bibles. We know what the Bible is saying about holiness. We don't live anyhow. Sister, I don't know who I'm speaking with. Join me. Join me and let's walk on this narrow way. I, 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 one day, I was, I was, I, I woke up with a revelation. I woke up with a revelation and in that revelation, I was alone and I was standing alone. As I was standing alone, somebody came to approach me. I would keep saying the revelations I've seen. 
so that because that's what the Lord has said to me to say as a warning to everybody. I was standing alone in that. I was standing in a place in that revelation, and there was somebody who appeared, who came to me, with all white. I don't know if he's a messenger of God. If he's an angel of God, I don't know. I do not know. But the person came to me and said, "Come, I want to show you something. Follow me. Follow me. I want to show you something." And I followed the angel of God and he showed me a great big door. I've said this thing many times, but I'll say it again. And that door was open and wide. And I saw great multitudes going through that door. Great multitudes. Are you among the multitude? Are you among the are you among the multitude that believe that we are all serving one God? Since his name is Hala, his, his name is Hala, so it's God. We are we don't serve the same God. No Muslim will make heaven. You can throw stones at me and say, this one is, she, she's hating, she's speaking hate speech. I don't care. But I'll tell you what the Lord says in his word. No Muslim who does not believe that Jesus Christ is God will make heaven. It doesn't matter how much you cover your head and pray five times a day. If you are a Muslim, you cannot see the kingdom of God. If you are a Muslim, come to Jesus now. Come to Jesus. Bow down those knees to Jesus now. You go to the mosque. Something within you is telling you that you are not in the right place. Who is that Muslim that's watching me? Something within you is telling you that I'm not in the right place. You don't, you, you feel deceived. The Lord is telling you to come. I'm not saying that you should join Christianity because there are all type of Christianity. Join the work, the, 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 the Christian of the Bible. Follow the scriptures, the Bible. The Bible says that you must believe in Jesus Christ. And it's only through Jesus Christ that you can be saved. Muslims, hear me. Hear me, Muslims. Hear me. It is only through Jesus Christ that salvation will come to you that you will never die. Don't be... Don't... I don't want you to say, had I know. I don't want you to say, had I know, I shouldn't have died without Jesus. Without Jesus Christ, Muslims, there is no heaven for you. Without the Spirit of God in you, there is no heaven for you. And you that is thinking, I don't think there is God. You are an atheist. You say, I don't know. There is no God. There is no God. I don't think there is God. The Lord is using me to tell you tonight that he exists. If you can open up your hearts to him, he will come and dine with you and show you great and mighty things that you do not know. You are eight years that you are called to be a prophet. You have a calling from God to be an evangelist. The Lord has called you, but you are believing that there is no God. But he has ordained you from, the, from your mother's womb. This is an appointed time for, for, for you today. That you should believe in Jesus. And he will use you great to draw many unto himself the Lord 
Jesus Christ is real. The Lord Jesus Christ is real. Open your hearts to him today. Open your heart. He is real. Keep the doubt. That's the voice of Satan. You are wondering, is God real? Is God real? Is God real? Is this Jesus real? But he's speaking. He has been speaking to your heart. And he's using this as another opportunity, as a confirmation to you that he is real. You don't even know how you stumbled on this, on this, on this platform. I don't know who I'm speaking with, but you never believed in Jesus. But something has been troubling you, and you have stumbled on here tonight. I'm telling you, the Lord wants to use you. He wants to use you, use you like he used Paul in the Bible. You can read Acts, the book of Acts, and you'll see how we had an encounter with Paul. Who believed that this was all trash. Atheist, I don't know who your name is. The Lord is calling you today. He's calling you today. He's calling you today. He says, believe in me. And you will see the light. You will see his hand walk in your life. You are a vessel. You are a vessel. You are a vessel to be used by God. You are a vessel. You are a vessel. He wants to use you worldwide. As a matter of fact, it's not just within us. He wants to use you worldwide. Worldwide. People will come to Christ through you. And... A lot of people will believe Jesus Christ through you. I don't know who I'm, who I'm, I'm speaking to, but you're on Bigo. The person I'm talking to, you are watching me from Bigo right now. You do not believe in Jesus. You don't believe in Jesus. But his hand is upon you. He wants to use you. This is your program tonight. Bow down those knees to God. And start reading your Bible. And I will recommend that you start reading from the book of John. Start with the book of John. Start from John chapter 1. Start with that whole book. And your confusion will be erased. Yes. You are on Bigo. You are watching me. You're confused. You don't believe in Jesus, but there's something telling you. You are a mighty vessel of God. Mighty! You are mighty. You are, I'm telling you. The Lord is going to open many eyes through you. But it's telling me to tell you that you need to bow down those knees to him. Get a Bible. If you don't have one, send me a message and I'll send you one. If you don't have a Bible, send me a message and I'll buy you a Bible, deliver straight to you. And start reading from the book of 1 John. Sorry, John. And you'll be a testimony. You'll be a testimony. You'll be used in this generation. I give all the glory to, to God tonight. I thank the Almighty God for speaking to our hearts tonight. Beloved, the Lord sends me here and I do not know, I don't plan. I don't even know what to say. When I come here, I, I, I myself am expecting the Lord. What are you going to say today? What is it that, what is it? And before I started, he said I should write today a warning to all. I heard him clearly say, write a warning to all from God. And I, I wrote the topic of, of today without knowing what I'm going to say. But he's telling me that I should tell you that you should be warned of the nearest future. There's a war coming. Great war. There's great war that is called, 
It will hit us. The way COVID hit us so hard, everybody was, it's going to hit us. War, killing, massive killing. There's massive, massive killings. And what I'm saying is aligned to the scripture. One third of the people that existed would die. One third, that's what the Bible says, one third of the people that are existing now will die. I'm not the one who said it to Go and meet, go and meet Jesus. I'm not praying for anybody to die. Go and read the Bible. It's my prayer. That if, I, if a bullet should enter me and I, sh my, my, I should go away from this world, that I would be with God. I want to receive my crown. There's a reward for me, beloved. There's a reward. I have a reward. I know I do have a reward. The Lord wants to crown me. I have a reward in heaven. And I do not want to miss my reward. I don't want to miss it. I don't want to meet that that the Lord has prepared for me. Me, me. That's why I want to walk with Jesus. And you also, you have a reward. There's something that God has prepared for you. Strive hard. Strive hard. Strive hard. May the Lord bless you. May his face shine upon you. I pray that the Lord will keep you to the end. And that you will make heaven. If you want to submit to God. If you want to make the Lord Jesus Christ your Lord and personal Savior. Go down on your knees. And lift those hands up. And say, Lord, I want to receive you tonight. I just don't want you to come and into my heart. Take my life. Let my life be yours. Speak to Jesus. And you will see the change. And if he wants me to pray with you, we have a Zoom prayers. We have a Zoom prayer. We have a Zoom prayers. We'll be having it on Sunday. I don't know if it's this coming Sunday, but we're going to have a Zoom prayer very shortly. If you want to join the Zoom, send me a message. Send me a message and then I will put you on the WhatsApp platform and then we'll join the Zoom. But if you don't want to join the Zoom, that's fine. God can meet you wherever you are. May the Lord keep you. May the face of God shine upon you. I'm done for today. But I'll be back here sometime next, this week. I'll be back here sometime this week. And I will let everybody know. May God keep you. God bless you, Charles, man. God bless you so much, Ombigo. God bless you. God bless you, Charles, man. May God continually to hold you. May every distractions in your life be taken away in the name of Jesus. May every distraction in your life be taken away. May the appetite to serve God come back upon you. May the appetite to serve God, Charles Mann, may it come back upon you. The appetite to be hungry for the things of God. May it come back upon you in the name of Jesus. God bless you, the, the, the old Joe Fiscal, when is Zoom? Zoom may be on Sunday, the old Joe Fiscal, Zoom will, may be on Sunday. May be on Sunday, this Sunday, I'm praying that you join us. You join us and God will open your eyes. I tell you, join us my sister, join us. God bless you, Michael Obolo. Amir too. May the Spirit of God continue to walk within you. 
Mr. Michael, may the Spirit of God continue to do wonders in your life. Wonders that people will look at you and say, there is God in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, Michael. Michael, I'm praying for you. May the hand of God continue to hold you. Everywhere you go, people will see the light. People will see the light. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you, Nanji. Nanji. Na, Nanji 4888. God bless you. I pray. I pray for peace in your heart. I pray for peace. Peace that supersedes all understanding. Peace. Peace in your life. Peace. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you, Nanji, that your ears will be open to hear the voice of God. Your ears, your spiritual ears will be open. You will, you, will be, you will start hearing God even in your dreams. Nanji, I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From Facebook, I pray for you, sister or brother Idel Idromon. Brother Hidel Idromon. Brother Hidel Hidel D H Drum don't know. I don't know if you're a brother or your sister. But I'm praying for you that the Lord will help you and your family. Your family, you'll be a light to your household. You shall be light to your household. Brother Edel or sister Edel D, you will be a light. You'll be a light. And every darkness around you will be removed. As I'm speaking, darkness is fleeing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray as I'm led by the Spirit of God. Every darkness that is around you will leave. And you, you, they will not quench your light. Satan will not, yes, my sister, Satan will not quench your light. If you can join me and be praying this prayer daily, that my light will not be quenched. Pray that your light will not be quenched. And pray against deception. Pray against deception. Nobody will deceive you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Ah, I pray for you. I am, I am Makamehu. Mm, I am, I am Makamehu from Instagram. I am Makamehu. I pray for you, beloved sister in the Lord. I pray that you will fulfill divine purpose. Your divine purpose on earth, you will fulfill it. You will fulfill divine purpose. Things that, listen to me, sister. Listen to me. Things that, things that people cannot see, you will see it. You will begin to see beyond physical. Hear me? Things that people can, what is, I don't understand. There's, there's a divine knowledge that God has given you. Divine knowledge, divine understanding. You'll be able to tell things. You'll be able to make, bring um, solution in terms of confusion. I pray for you. I pray for you. As I'm led, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Um, God bless you, sister. May we continue to learn to walk in holiness in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for you. Sing, sing by him, him cakes. Sing by him cakes. I, I, I would prefer eh, if you put your real name here. If you put your real name, there's something attached to your name. <laughs> you don't know. But sing by him cakes. I pray for whoever you are. That the angels of the Lord will encamp around you. I pray that the angels of God will encamp around you. The, the Lord will protect you against every walk of darkness. There will be protection. You will not die. You will not, you will not die in the name of Jesus. 
God will protect you. God will protect you, Sister Dana. Sister Dana, God will protect you. God will protect you in your way out, in your coming in, wherever you step your feet. Protection. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ah, uh, Brother Nalue Chukwe Meka Enes. Brother Nalue Chukwe Meka Enes. May the Lord... May the Lord give you, may the Lord open your mouth in the spirit to speak his word. Servant of God, may God open your mouth in the spirit. May whatever God has placed in you, may it begin to come out. And whatever God, what God has placed in your hand, my brother, my brother, may you fulfill it. May the calling of God in your life not be short. Seek God. Brother, brother, Nwanwe, Nwanwe, I don't know. Seek God. Seek God so that you can start. God really, his hand is upon you. The calling of God is really upon your life. So, get into the secret place. Get into the secret place. Get into the secret place. Seek God and God will start telling you what to do for him from there. Do you hear me? Uh, Brother Chukwemeka, the hand of God is truly upon you. I tell you. I tell you. I will tell you. Go and start his work. Go and, if you are already doing it, ask God for direction. Ask God for direction. Ask the Spirit of God for direction. I want to pray for somebody. On uh, on Bigo, on Bigo, may the Lord help you, Brother Lucas. May God help you. Thank you for joining. J Mond, J Bond, may God help you. May God help you. May God help you in the name of Jesus. And many of you here on Bigo, they, <clears throat> there's the Maybe, maybe, maybe people on Instagram or Facebook, you may not know what Bigo is, but there's darkness there. <laughs> darkness is on Bigo. If you're not preaching, leave this place. Leave this place because this place is, is taking many souls to hell. On Bigo. So my work on Bigo is just for a while. It's just for a while. It's just for a while. Brother Jean, Jean Du Souza. Brother Jean. Brother Jean to Souza. Brother Jean to Souza. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. That you will be fruitful. You will be fruitful. The Satan will not steal from you. Satan will not steal from you. Brother Jean, Satan will not steal from you. What are uh, whatever you have so you will like. When you labor, you will eat the fruit of your labor. In the name of Jesus, you will not store the ground, throw the ground, and not see and not get the fruit from it. As you toil, as you sweat, you will receive the blessing from God. I'm telling you, the blessing of God is upon you, and every spirit that wants you to so 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 so, and you so good, you so good, and yet you don't reap, may it be cancelled in the name of Jesus. May it be cancelled in the name of Jesus. May it be cancelled in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for somebody on. Say pray for me. Pray for me. Pray mommy. Pray mommy. I don't know. You 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 have to your name. Pray for me. What's your name? What's your name? Pray. Pray mommy. Pray mommy. What's your name? What's your name? But I pray for you. Pray mommy. The Lord knows everybody according to his desire. The, your desire for God will be granted in the name of Jesus. Pray, mommy, I don't know you, but your desire for God, as you desire God within the deepest part of your soul, you desire God. You desire God. Every time you, you're concerned about God and God is concerned about you, you will find rest in your soul. That which you are seeking God for shall be given unto you. In the name of Jesus, 
in the name of Jesus. Pray, mommy, that which you are seeking the Lord for will be granted fire of the Holy Spirit. Whatever you are looking for, baptism of the Holy, receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, Richard. Richard, opung ado. Richard, Richard, I need the grace of to live holy life pleasing to God in the name of Jesus. So shall it be, brother Richard. I pray that the Lord will give you the grace. The Lord will grant you grace. The Lord will grant you grace. The Lord will grant you grace to finish this journey. The Lord will grant you grace to finish this journey. Keep hum getting hungry for God. Keep seeking God. Whatever you are doing in the secret place, the Lord is seeing it. Whatever you, your heart is very, you have a very, very lovely heart, Brother Richard. Keep doing good. Your heart, the Lord sees your heart. The Lord sees your heart. He sees your heart. He sees your heart. He sees how much you love him. Brother Richard, God will give you grace. God will give you grace. He will come, he will visit you. Because he's, he's near to those whose heart is good. He's near to you. To those whose heart is good. God will give you the grace in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God bless you all. God bless you all. I see you all by the special grace of God. I see you next week. And if the Lord leads me to pray like this, whatever he leads me to do, I'll do it. Um, I'll see you all next week. Um, Peter Mund Mund Peter Mufubusi Shalom. Pray for me, sister. Help me, help me, please. Jesus Christ is the only helper we have in this world. <laughs> you see, the only helper is Jesus. The only person that can help us not be me. I not get power. I not get nothing. <laughs> As I say, <did>, help me, <laughs> brother, brother Peter. Let God help me. But I'm praying for you. I'm praying in the name of Jesus. That your journey to heaven will not stop halfway. Your journey to that kingdom will not stop halfway. You will finish this journey. Just be concent concentrate. Concentrate. Keep your eyes focused on God. There's a Bible verse. I don't know where it is in the Bible. But you can search for it and read it. Where it says, set your eyes on the things that are above. And not on the things that are beneath here. Set your eyes on Jesus. Don't let anything, don't let women distract you. Don't let women settling, settling, settling. Don't let this distract you. But I don't know you. But I tell you, I tell you. And allow the Spirit of God to lead you. Mm. Be careful. Be careful. Be very careful. Be very prayerful in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. I feel the sweet presence of God in this place. Um, so I will leave you all right now. And I'll come back again next week or this week, sometime this week. I'll be back here. And if the Lord leads me to pray, I pray according to his will. Anyhow God wants to use me, let him use me. I'm available to Jesus and I want you to be the same. To be the same. I'll see you all. I'll see you all next week by the grace of God. I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. If you want to join on WhatsApp, you can send me a message or use the link that is there or send me a, a message. Big O, Facebook, and Instagram. You can send me a message and I would definitely reply to you. God bless you and I'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.